Namaste. Transitioning into motherhood is a life-altering experience for every woman, especially if it's your first child. Becoming a mother is always a challenge. It comes along with various health complications, hormonal imbalance, and their bodies change altogether. Navigating these changes all at once is very tiring for a new mom. This video is for you if you are a new mother or someone who just had a baby in their life. We are going to discuss about the postnatal care in an Ayurvedic perspective. The postnatal time means the moment you have delivered up to six weeks, that is around 42 days is considered as the postnatal time. So here we can discuss certain dietary changes, certain herbs and uh, certain exercises which will be helpful for you to manage this time or to keep you healthy during this period. So the postnatal time is the moment you have delivered a baby up to six weeks, that is 42 days from the delivery, is considered as a postnatal period. During this time, your body will be very weak. Not only the body, you'll be weak mentally and physically that's why you need a support and here we are to support you. So childbirth is not only draining, it also causes aggravation of vada dosha. That means uh, the increased air or wind in your body. So that can directly lead to some digestive issues in the body. Like the mother can suffer with bloating, acidity or indigestion in the initial few days. So we should be very careful about the diet in the initial few days. That means exactly we can say the initial 14 or 28 days after the delivery, we should be very careful about the diet of the mother. Therefore, eating simple foods, which does not drain your digestive system or aggravate vada dosha is recommended. You can go for low fat dairy products, more of legumes in the diet, more of fibrous rich foods, more of leafy vegetables, especially moringa leaves, is fine to be very helpful in this during this period, which also helps to increase the breast milk production, and including more spices in the diet, which is which is improving your digestive fire, especially like cumin, ginger, uh, fenugreek also is good, that helps to tighten the pelvic flow muscles and to strengthen the uterus. Also, fenugreek is good. And also brown rice is uh, very good during this period, which is also helpful in increasing the breast milk secretion. So regarding the diet, we should be very careful that during the first few days, at least in the two weeks, it should be given very uh, easily digestible food to the mother. As your digestive system improves and your appetite grows, you can resume your normal diet or you can add more complex foods into your diet. So the next important thing we should be taking care of during the postnatal time is exercise. Exercise is a must after a recommended period of rest. So if you are a, uh, if you are undergoing a normal labor, a seven days of rest is fine to start the exercise. If you are undergoing the cesarean, you proper rest for 20 or 28 days, then you can start the exercises. So normal stretches can be done and the pelvic floor exercises can be done which, help us, which helps you to tighten the pelvic floor muscles. During the first phase of postnatal care, especially the first 14 days or first 28 days, it is recommended to add certain drugs or certain herbs or medications which will be helpful to increase your digestive fire. Some of them are Panjagola Churnam, Ashta Churnam, Pulling Gorimba, etc. can be very helpful for you to increase your digestive fire so that you'll not be having the issues of indigestion, bloating or uh, abdominal pain and all. Along with that, you can also take the Shimula Arishtam, Jiraga Arishtam, which is vada reducing and also strengthening for your body. And after the 28 days or 14 days, when you get back your digestive fire, when you have a proper hunger and proper appetite, you can start the Brimhana Sigilsa, that is the nourishing treatment. We can start uh, the vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian soups uh, into your diet and also Resayanas, rejuvenating jam-like medicines like 
അജമാംസ രസായനം തെങ്ങിൻ പൂക്കുലാതി രസായനം എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ മെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് വാട്ടർ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ബോയിൽഡ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് ഹെർബ്സ് ഹെർബ്സ് ലൈക്ക് റിസിനസ് കമ്മ്യൂണിസ് വൈറ്റസ് നെർഗുണ്ടോ ആൻഡ് സെർട്ടൻ അതർ ഹെർബ്സ് വിച്ച് ഐ ഷോ യു ദ പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദ വീഡിയോ ഇസ് വെരി മച്ച് ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ജൂറിംഗ് ദ പോസ്റ്റ് നീറ്റൽ ടൈം വിച്ച് ഹെൽപ്സ് ടു സ്ട്രെങ്കൺ ദ യൂട്രിസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഹെൽപ്സ് ടു സ്ട്രെങ്കൻ ദ പെൽവിക് ഫ്ലോ മസൽ സോ അലോങ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ റെക്കമെൻഡ് പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് റെസ്റ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഡൂയിങ് യോഗാസനാസ് വിച്ച് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് സെർട്ടൻ പോസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഭുജംഗാസന പവനമുക്താസന പത്മാസന ആൻഡ് ഓൾ വിറ്റ് ബി വെരി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ടു റെഡ്യൂസ് ദ ബാക്ക് ഏക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ പ്രഗ്നൻസി റിലേറ്റഡ് ഇഷ്യൂസ് ആസ് എ ഓൾറെഡി ടോൾഡ് ബിക്കമിങ് എ മദർ ഈസ് എ ലൈഫ് ഓൾട്രിങ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് യു ക്രിയേറ്റ് many beautiful memories during this time and you want to hold on to this memory on the other hand the whole process can affect your physical as well as mental health making a few dietary and lifestyle changes can help you to get back to your 100% and avoid further health complications taking herbs and medications which was recommended will help you to fight the pregnancy related complications and to get back to your normal health in a natural way getting adequate exercise following your childbirth helps to restore your strength if you feel alone and need a helping hand especially during this time don't worry we are here and in vaidhi grama we are providing a postnatal care for 28 days which includes the diet herbs medications and treatment we'll be taking a good care of you as well as your baby like ours thank you sarve bhavantu sukhinaha